Hey Z Beauties and welcome back to another episode of Z Beauty Channel where I am your hostess Jeanne. If you're new here, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe down below so you don't miss out when I upload new videos such as this one. Remember, beauty is not to be judged but to be celebrated because living is a lifestyle. Now today is a very cool video. I just want to come and show you some of the products that I got from Shein because babe, I don't know if it's Shein or Shein, but I always say Shein. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Shein, but nevertheless, I like Shein better. So, um, so I got a few more products. I got some She Glam. I got some brand new brushes, just a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. Let's get into it. So go ahead and grab your makeup brushes, your snacks, your tools, your blanket, whatever else you need. And let's jump right into the video, babe. So I hope you like the preview. You know, I didn't want to do too much because I am going to be applying some of the products just to show you how some of the products are being applied. That pushed my hair back a little bit. But I really like this glam so far. I don't really have anything on except for um, I got a little bit of foundation on. I got a little bit of concealer on. I got a little bit of Match L'Oreal powder on top of my concealer just to set it. And that's really all I have on. I did not contour yet because some of the products that I do got, I do want to test out the contour. Certain areas is like really moist and some areas are dry. Or brand new liners because I want to start getting into um, like doing different colors underneath my eyes. Especially when I do my colorful looks, my colorful eyeshadow looks. This is the cream gel liners. Hande Aden, um, if you can see the name. These are the what you call this I got. Now I'm going to show you the colors and how they swash. These are the four colors that I got. The packaging is, is really, really cute. So this is the red. As you can see, like they are really, really pigmented. Um, they're really affordable too as well. And do the blue. This is the blue. Um, the purple. And you can really build these up. That's why I like it. If you're looking for some more colorful liners, the packaging is so beautiful on these liners. And this, the last one is the white one. So, to be honest, they really are uh, very pigmented. See, I'm not sure how much is in here. It's about this much. It's quite a bit. So, it's quite a bit in here. I'm pretty sure you're not going to be using the colorful ones all the time. Me, I'm probably going to down this white one because I really like a bright under eye, especially when I do certain type of looks. I really like to get a good white under eye. These are cream gel liners. They're waterproof. They have beautiful packaging. Has a lot, a little bit to a lot of product in here. And also, um, they are affordable. So if you like this, check them out. These are the She Glam and these are the matte liquid lipsticks. I needed some more lipsticks and I really do prefer liquid lipsticks versus regular lipsticks. Um, just because I feel like they dry down a little bit more and it's a little bit more um, flexible that I can use them. I got six of these uh the colors i have is like i have three neutrals and then i have like three berry type of colors um the berry type of colors is vineyard and uh city nights and attraction and then in my more uh, subtle colors i have sugar um lift off and millionaire so let's go ahead and swatch some of these Start with the neutral colors just because i'm a neutral girly sometimes i can be a little boring but um i'm gonna go in with sugar and i am going to just swatch these on the back of my hand so get into the packaging i really feel like she glam has some really good packaging like the packaging is everything it's really really cute okay so this is in the shade sugar i'm just going to swatch it on the back of my hand so this is sugar pigmented they're very creamy and look at that it's very thick babe you get a thick layer so that means you can really go in just a little bit at a time and it should last you a, a while too next i'm going in with the millionaire 
and this is a really really pretty color it's just like a very neutral color and so this is millionaire look at that it's very pretty color it's a very pretty color it's almost like a rosy type color it's very cute like for a very neutral type glams you can put a very like really bright color on top of it and it just gives you like a real ombre type look and um this is the shade lift off and this is in the shade lift off it's a little bit more darker on the darker side if it'll focus a little bit so you can see it okay it's more like almost like a brown almost um, it's more so like a brown, kind of like a darker than the neutral color that I got. Just like a like the few shades darker. Now going in with my berry selection with the Vineyard City Nights and Attraction. I'm gonna start with Vineyards just because I really, I really kind of like this one. So this is Vineyard. It's a beautiful purple, like a beautiful burgundy type of purple. It's very very cute love that it is city nice it's more like a red tone but like if you want to do like a red look red lip or anything like that it's a very beautiful color for a red lip it's like a winery color um it gives wine now i thought vineyard vineyard really gives wine but if you want to look for like a red wine that's what it gives like it's a very like dark red it's very subtle it's very beautiful now when i use it like a red lip babe i like to go in with a very dark subtle red lip i do not like those bright red lips to the girlies that do love that for you babe absolutely love that for you but me, I'm just not that type of red lip girly. It has to be a specific type of red. If I ever do a red lipstick, it has to be a specific type of red. And this is more so on the pink side. So this is more so on the pink side. This is like the lightest liquid lip shade that I got besides um, Millionaire here. Sugar is a new color that I have not yet tried. So I think I'm going to go ahead and like put this on my lips and see like what it gives now. Just because I, this is outside of my comfort zone. It gives like an orange. Oh, that's really pretty. That's really pretty. It gives like an orange type of undertone to it. So if you have a very like neutral look such as my look now, it really makes the little bit of of um, eyeshadow I have on my eyes really pop. And it also just brings my tone together. Sugar is really, really cute. Especially if you like, you know what I'm saying, like brown tones. Sugar is really pretty. So next I'm going to jump into some of these blushes and these contour colors. So these are the three, um, this is also by She Glam, Glam Products, just because look at the packaging, get into the packaging. The packaging is really freaking gorgeous. I really love that. And I have three shades out of the liquid blush and one of them is Hush Hush Love Cake Petal Talks. And these are the shades which is so gorgeous now let me go ahead and get ready to jump in because i honestly cannot wait to see the packaging when you have a good product you want to make sure that your packaging is everything you know i just feel like packaging is very important like i am an aesthetic girly so when i see a cute packaging you're in you got me you got me. I'm a sucker for the packaging. I just, goodness. Use it right here. This is in the shade Hush Hush. Oh, I just, this, and look at the, look at the, the applicator. Get into the applicator. Like, and it applies so much product. So if you go in with two dots on your face, babe, you're, you're done. You're set quick and easy. You do not have to do a lot. And personally, that's what I look for. This is Love Cake. Ooh. 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 
a very pinky type of look for a better, very subtle pink type of look. If you want to like a makeup, no makeup girly, babe. Hold on, because I don't think you've seen it again. Let me show you. Look at that. That is so freaking cute. And baby, I don't shave my arms, okay? I don't. I don't shave my arms. I don't I do not do it. I used to do it when I was younger. And that's probably why it's, it's like that. But no, I'm not doing it. Ooh. So this is Petal Talk. It's like a very bright type of pastel pink. It's way different from the other ones. Some, some of these I got to get outside like my comfort zone because I like a lot of neutral colors. And sometimes I like certain type of blushes. Like these two will be my go-to type of shades of blushes. But I wanted to try another one, Petal Talk. I have not tried this one yet. Usually just because I try to get things to stay like just to stay in my comfort zone but i'm getting outside my comfort zone a little bit so that's why i always at least get one or two products that i don't usually use on a daily just to see how to incorporate into like my different type of looks or how i can incorporate them into my different type of looks but that color is so yummy that color is pretty as fuck i kid you not that color is gorgeous it's really cute it was a good choice good choice but I'm going to go ahead and show you my um, contour shades. And I got one that was very unusual. So I needed another um, contour shade. Um, and this one is Golden Sun. And then this one is very unusual to me. So this one was very new. But it intrigued me a lot when I seen the girl use it on the, the, um, the video. So this one is a soft tan. And I think I'm going to go ahead and show you the golden sun first and then we're going to get into that soft tan bag oh wait before i do that because i'm getting a little bit ahead of myself so out of the blushes that i'm going to use i'm going to go in with love cake just because i feel like it's the vibe for the look right the applicator is very cute move my hair out the way child look at that applicator is applicating babe the only thing about these type of applicators is a little bit of like my skin this is 400s by real technique and i'm just going to just going to blend that out Let's get into it. Let's really get into it. Oh. I really like that though. That it blends so seamlessly. Like it really, it really blends. You know how usually you can just tell when you're blending out a product if it's good or not. But the, the way this product lays down on the skin she glam you might have just did something babe you i'm not gonna lie to you you might have just did something you might have just did something like i ain't ever tried shin makeup but babe because <laughs> i am in all wow factors right now so this is the golden sun see my very neutral colors like my very neutral everyday type of colors is what i usually get so this one is the one that really wow factored me <laughs> this one is the one that got me okay because i have like i have yet to seen a contour shade in this type of shade now this is a soft tan look at it it looks gray it looked gray like it's like a gray ever seen a app I, I gotta use it i gotta see what it's like i gotta see this is gonna be too bright on me though i can already tell see this is why sometimes this is why i don't buy new shit because <laughs> i get disappointed i 
I have a mirror on the side of me, so that's what I'm trying to see. I don't like it. I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm gonna try this golden, this golden sun. That's okay, baby. You try something new and you don't like it, that's okay. You tried it though. I believe this one will be a little bit better for me. Golden sun blends right into my skin, babe. <laughs> let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments, because maybe it's just me. But let me know in the comments. If you like the um if you like the soft tan, you know, babe, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Because this is the soft tan side. So these are um lip liners. I have a whole bunch of shades and a lip liner eyeliners and they come in a, a, quite a few shades so these are all the shades that they have right here so these are all the shades that they have different type of colors um they're very pretty they're very creamy if i do one swash because try i'm not gonna swash all of these but this is how it looks these are cream lip liners and that's just out of that one swash babe that's cute and plus, I did use one of them on my lips as well. So, they really are creamy. And you can really build it up if you want to do a whole lip for the girlies who like to use the lip liners with um, the whole lip. And then apply your lipstick or your regular lipstick or hell, just even your lip gloss. Hell, for the people who really get into it, the <laughs> concealer, like I do. Lip liners that I got, I don't really have to go too much in detail with the lip liners get them from shin test them out try them out see how you really like them and then let me know these are the lashes that i got from shin okay i don't know if i can like i don't know if shin has like a storefront like amazon that i can let you guys know but if i find it i will put it in the description box down below if you want to know any of the products that i use i will promise to put them in the description box down below so that you can be able to check them out so these are the two pair i found i really like wispies um so ones that are long short long short long short but they they're kind of full and these are the closest one i could get to kind of like um if i was to get my lashes done individuals or something like that then these are be the ones and usually i would use these for like a soft glam like i have on now and then typically i don't know how these are going to be on the eyes because i have not yet tried them yet but i have had some similar to this and if you put like two together they get really thick and then they look really really good on the eyes um and usually i like like a cat type of um a cat type of um angle just because yeah, i like my lashes to be short kind of sort of in the inner corners and then long kind of on the uh outer court corners of my eye you know so these are the lashes these two so this one is pink and this one is raspberry and these are lip glosses and this is from hello kiss and this is their lip glow oil it's look at this applicator first off let's get before i even try to apply it babe because you know i can't apply it right now what matter of fact okay so yeah look i had to wipe that off my lips because i want to get i want to get i want to get deep into this okay so this one is the um raspberry and this is the um, lip glow oil. But I'm going to go in with the shade pink. So this one is raspberry and then this one is pink. If you've been looking for these, they are on Shein. I did not know that until I ordered them. Oh. Oh. Oh, the applicator. Oh, y'all, I know you've seen that. Oh, it don't really have a smell. It don't really have a smell because usually I like when my products smell like really good, but it don't really, babe, it don't really have a smell. But this is the color reviver. And babe, for a minute there, I thought it was a lip plumper. But but it's not because it started to make my lips tingle a little bit. But I guess it's since it is a lip color reviver, I think it just tinkles my lips a little bit. Unless I wipe my lips too hard trying to take off that other other um lipstick that I had on prior to this one. 
but it's very juicy it's very juicy and i really like it because it's not really sticky like lipsticks they be like really really sticky thing that i got was this brown shaping it's kind of like a pomade i really like pomades but this is what it looks like and i did already go in and use some of it babe for the brows so that's how my brows looking but i did use this i probably should have got a darker color just because the brown is a little bit um too bright for me because i like to match my brows with my hair it's really really creamy so i would advise you i'm use pomades i would suggest that you go in like with a full dry face don't go in with like it's full moisturized face so now i'm gonna hop right into these brushes babe so i've been looking for a lot of detail brushes just because i need like little blending brushes so when i wouldn't want to do my real detail looks because i want to start getting into like more different type of detail makeup looks. i want to add some spunk and i want to add some spice back into my shit so i want to go in with a little bit more colors so i got these brushes babe love these type of brushes by the way of brushes oh oh this feels good baby babe when i tell you these brushes feel like you're not touching anything to the touch to the feel the sensation of these brushes man and i'm excuse me and i'm not over exaggerating they feel that damn good. Like, I was not expecting that. <laughs> That's the last thing I was, I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't expecting that. Girl, I ordered two of these. Now that I look at them, I'm pretty sure that they are for the eyes. But babe, the way I was feeling today, I definitely use them for the brows. Look at this. How thin that is. I know you see that. Look how sharp and thin that is. I use them for my brows. But if you want to go in and use them for a liner, for your gel liners, babe, you got a two-in-one brush. I ordered two of them. One going to be for my brows and then the other one I guess for my gel liners. So This gives me the Morphe. It gives me a Morphe type feel of, of a brush. Babe, when I say almost, almost. The, well, this is just the feel it gave me. This is like a blending set. It comes with a lot of different brushes in here. They have different type of sizes in here. I see. You know where I can find a lot of these? Comment down below. Like the ones that are just like small, detailed, but kind of domey and like like accessible to blend. These are the type of brushes I'm looking for. But like even smaller, a little bit bigger. Just I'm looking for those type of brushes. They have another one in here too. They have quite a bit because like these brushes are the, oh, these are very dense. Oh, I have a lot of control with these brushes. I love that. But these are the type of brushes I look for. Very small, little tiny brushes for really detailed looks. These. I seen these. Ah, I seen these for like the nose contour. I'm going to try it out. Oh, wait. Oh, y'all. I just got this brush. I knew my favorite brush. Look. So, if you ask me, not really durable. <laughs> not really durable for the price. Very good. But, babe, I just opened it out the pack. Like, just opened it out the pack. I have another one. Hopefully, the other one is not like that either. Nah. Oh, wait. Yeah. This one like that, too. They both like that. So, they're both broken. <laughs> They're both broken back, but there. But the intent is definitely the idea of it. The intent of it, definitely there. It's my end of my um, shin review of my updated products that I got for my makeup kit. Um, if you, you know like some of the products and want to test them out go ahead they're very affordable um careful with some of the brushes <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
but overall babe you got a little bit of a little bit of everything up in the video today thank you for watching thank you for being here with me today that is all i have for you today hey don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below test out some of the products and let me know how you like them um or if you didn't like them either way um yeah thank you for being here i hope you have a great day remember beauty is not to be judged but to be celebrated because living is truly a lifestyle see you guys next time and you have a great day bye